And so everyone, we've arrived at the latest Pixar movie that was added to Disney Plus the other day, Luke Dow. This was one that I was honestly not very excited for all that much, despite being a huge Pixar and Disney fan. The trailer looked fine, but didn't impress me all that much. But I was still at least curious to check it out. And I didn't want any reviews for it before watching because I didn't want to know anything about people's general thoughts on it. And in the end, I thought the movie was very okay. That was, that's really the best I can say about this, but this film didn't really impress me all that much in any way. It wasn't bad at all, and there were some, and there were more good moments than bad, but overall, I didn't like this movie that much. Also, I'm not going to do a spoiler section for this, because I'm just going to have all my thoughts on this immediately, but I'm not going to, but, but I won't spoil anything about any big plot points or anything. So, what's the story? It's about a sea monster named Luca, who's a small boy. When he gets curious about wanting to explore the land, but his family forbids it, thinking that it's dangerous, he meets, a le he meets another sea monster like him named Alberto, who goes on land all the time, and whenever they do, they turn into humans. So, Luca and Alberto decide to explore a town called Porto Rose so I meet a small girl there named Julia and then she begins to tease them about the land while they're trying to hide the fact that they're sea monsters. So obviously right off the bat, easily the best part of this is definitely the animation. You expect a film from Pixar to look top tier these days and that's still true here. It's a really gorgeous movie and the acting is of course fantastic. It's, not, it's certainly not not a bad movie, and it does have some good moments in it, but that's as far as I go for the positive. Now let's get into my problems. First, there's nothing in this that really feels original. As a Pixar movie, you expect there to be tons of originality and have a lot of memorable moments. But for the most part, this film is mostly really generic. It follows a similar story to other things, and I didn't really feel like there was anything in this that was investing at all. So unlike a film like, a film like Raya and the Last Dragon earlier, this year, this didn't hold my interest that much, and since the, and since the film didn't have, didn't hold my interest that much, it felt like a bit of a drag to get through, and that's never a good thing when you, when you feel like you're just getting through a movie and not watching it because you're enjoying it. I also found the goal of this movie to be weird. I won't spoil it, but there's a point where Luca and Alberto just they want to do, do a specific thing, and I was kind of under the impression that that was just going to be something small and uh, for the film and something bigger was going to happen, but there wasn't. There was real, that really was, a, was the big show for the film, and it was just kind of weird to me. Also, while I didn't dislike any of the characters, they didn't, they also didn't have anything that new to them, and they felt really cliche a lot of the time. There were, there wasn't anything new to them, and they felt just, and they just had fallen under a bunch of cliches. Especially the villain of the film named Erko, who's just, who's just some random bully in the town, who's just a cliche boy. But also a bunch of plot holes in the film that didn't make any sense whatsoever and the film just and the film gets into the main story really really quickly. Like I said in some other review before, you expect a Pixar movie or just any film to be set to be set up in the beginning where you where we know who the characters are and what they do. But they skip a lot of that in the beginning and just get into the yeah, just going up to the surface really, really, uh, really, really quick. 
play video. So let's have some star hop shot points in this. I don't know where my video set up with loot that towards the beginning and it never goes anywhere else. The word and the ending doesn't feel that satisfying and it had a pretty generic ending too. I know I'm probably being too harsh on this film because it's not a bad movie at all, but when I do do like Pixar has high standards of expectations with their films and they make something average like this, there's a, that's a big disappointment in my opinion. And really, well, I, and really, I don't see this as a film I want to watch again after the first first view and which is which is sad because like I like you all know I'm a gigantic Pixar fanboy and I usually love their film but I just but I just don't don't see find myself seeing this as anything exceptional. It really didn't hit me in the same way that other films have and it back it was not in the way Raya did in March. So yeah, that's really it. I know the review wasn't super long at all and it was really short, but I didn't want, but I didn't have that much to say about it because there really wasn't that much in it to talk about in my opinion. So really overall, if you're interested, I would say watch it. It's not a complete waste of time, but it's also not one of the best Pixar movies ever and I don't think I watched this film again. So yeah, that's my review yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all liked this video. If you did, then please like this video. Please comment down below to tell me what you think. Please follow me on Twitter at Daniel Maloney, KH and Disney fan writer, Kingdom Hearts and Disney Please every day. And please subscribe for more content like this coming soon. I'll see you all next time. Take care.